Hey, welcome to the behind the scenes video of how I made the ridiculous CRT video about frame rates and NTSC. So I've just finished filming the video proper, which means I can afford to start packing down some of my equipment. I thought I'd show it to you as I put it away, I guess. So I mean, this is a real TV. I genuinely had to go and buy this on eBay. I went to pick it up. So I found uh, CRT TVs being sold within 20 miles of my house. I then drove to pick this up. The guy answered the door and uh, I said hello, very polite. And his first thing out of his mouth was, why? He just, he was like, before I was allowed in the house to get the TV, I had to justify why I wanted it. And so I was like, well, actually I explained I'm making a video on YouTube and he seemed to take, like, he don't think he fully grasped what I was saying, but he didn't argue. And other people were bidding for it. Like I, I thought I'll just buy one. No one else is bidding on these. Someone else is bidding for this. Apparently it's quite good for uh, retro video games which I'm uh, quite into. So I might keep this, hook up the Mega Drive uh, to it. Apparently it's very good with PlayStations. So I've read, so I might give that a go. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it is a real TV and I am sending a signal into it with the uh, SCART input uh, around the back here. And so the way it works, actually no, I can probably bring up a, no, let's not bring up a test screen just yet because I've still, I've still got it rigged up to do that ridiculous effect where it scans across, I'm so proud of this, right? It scans across the screen and reveals me in the background and does one row, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get the car, let's not move the camera yet. Uh, you, can, you can see what's happening there, right? And then uh, the second scan fills in the other spots. It's because I'm running the audio, not the audio, I've had to deliberately stop the audio, the video only, I've got a weird audio feedback thing. The video from this camera is being run into a board down here which then mixes it with a presentation on my laptop. I've got a keynote presentation and I'm using LumaKey to take out all the white parts. And so actually, I can go back, I can play that again. So I'm gonna run that again, and I'm gonna turn off the effect part way through. So if I switch off the effect, that is what's actually happening. So I've got a presentation that just does this, and then I've overlaid a chroma key on it like that, and uh, there's, there's your end result. Very, very proud of that. Uh, to get it all into the TV. So let's bring up something interesting. Oh, 60 hertz. Oh, that's, uh, I've been messing with it as well. There's the, there's the widescreen aspect ratio. So I did a lot of it. Actually, I can probably bring up, I've got a test screen. This was me doing all my early alignment. Uh, where is it? There we go. Right, so here is my alignment test screen. I projected up a whole bunch of the alphabet. That is a distorted dot. So in widescreen, it looks squashed. If I flick it to full screen, I've uh, designed the file. So it's genuinely a squashed circle, but when it stretches out to full screen, you get the full uh, circular shape. So I've compensated for the changes there. This is all going in via a SCART lead at the back. So there's SCART, which is component or RCA effectively for people who aren't in Europe. And then back here, okay, now I'm going to unplug the video feed from my camera, which hopefully won't break it. There we go. And I can, uh, oh, I'm just going to quickly switch to battery so I can take it off the thing. Okay, and we are off and racing. Okay, so right, so this is... Oh goodness, yeah, this is the ridiculous room I film in. I wasn't using the ironing board this time. There you go. Okay, and so what have I done? So there's the TV, and down here I have bought a ridiculous converter. So this thing, which I've got powered off a USB, is a HDMI to SCART converter. And so I was taking HDMI signal, turning it into SCART, and then running it into the TV. The HDMI from that is coming out of this vision mixer. So I use this for live shows. This is from Festival of the Spoken Nerd. You can have four different inputs. You can mix between them. You can do various effects. And over here is my laptop, which was running that. So that's a keynote at the moment. We'll come out of that. And uh, you can actually software control uh, this thing. It's, I'm not trying to advertise it, but it is amazing. And so, I mean, they have not, I mean, they've taken a lot of my money. They've given me nothing. And so here I can mess around with what, so let's, let's change the white. Uh, Luma key to be uh, black. So we'll take out things that are dark. And then if we go back into the presentation, we can bring up, uh, where's the color one? Here we go. If we bring up this color effect. So all that color effect is, that is a video, which is the word color bouncing around on a black background. And so when I turn that on, 
Okay, so now we're sending it to the box. If we come back around over here, let's have a look. Okay, there it is there, right. So now that's bouncing around on the screen uh, there. And so what I can do now is switch. I haven't got any other inputs going into it. Let's get the video feed back. So here's my video feed cable. I'm gonna run that into the side here. And so that in theory should now, oh, hey, there it goes, right. So that's because I am uh, doing the kick. So I can turn that effect off on the board. There we go. That's just the straight up uh, feed. And of course I could uh, just, you know, I could wipe between them. Oh, look at that, quality wipe action. Or I can go with the effect. And so there you go. And so, uh, uh, so you can thank First of the Spoken Nerd. This, I've just borrowed our live kit to be able to do this. And I guess the one other thing I'm particularly proud of was advancing the slides. Down here, I have a foot pedal. And so these are really good. So I use this all the time for, you can advance it. Look at that, look at those slides go. Wow. And uh, there's a thing on a Mac called uh, Carabiner which you can edit an XML file to be able to change inputs from various uh, keyboards effectively. And so what I did was I took a um, foot pedal, which normally whenever you hit it, it just sends a B signal, right? So it's hitting the B key on a computer. I got it so instead of a B, you get a space bar. So it advances the slides and I turned off repeat. So you don't accidentally get uh, more than one thing happening at once. So let's switch that off. Let's get my, there we go, there's my slides. Oh my goodness, I've ruined the top of this. All right, so now whenever I want something to happen on the screen, I can just uh, hit, I just, I just stomp on it and I'm not gonna accidentally click over two slides. And I guess the last thing is you'll notice I needed, cause this is really hard to see on, cause trying to get the contrast and there's still, even though both of these are running at 50 frames per second, I can actually switch this to be NTSC, because ironically, I'm running PAL. So if I switch this to be NTSC coming out of the SCART converter, you get all sorts of ridiculous interference with uh, the other thing, which I've put it back onto uh, PAL. It works uh, much, much better. To so get the close-up shots though, I've actually got my phone. So I've got my old video camera I use for all these videos over there. And over here, I've just put my iPhone so my iPhone is just plugged, uh, just recording a video on a tripod, slightly out of shot uh, for the close-up. And so uh, there you are, that, that's all the ridiculousness behind the scenes on this video. I will try and do some more coherent behind the scenes footage. I will also take questions. So if you are now supporting me on Patreon, you will have been given the secret email address. You can email me on that. And occasionally I'll do a video where I'll go through and answer the most common questions or the most interesting ones. I'll try and get through the vast, vast majority of them. And I'll probably do some deleted stuff as well. I often film more than I need, so I'll put that out. So. I guess, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, have a look at the rest of the Patreon. And if you've already signed up, send me some questions and I'll put them in the first roundup.